Hello and welcome to an introductory presentation on Boolean expressions and CircuitJS. We'll start by using CircuitJS to look at the building blocks of Boolean expressions. The first thing you'll notice when you open up CircuitJS is you're greeted with this lovely example circuit. Unfortunately, this has about nothing to do with EC210, so the first thing we'll learn how to do is go up to the Circuits tab. In the Circuits tab, you'll find a bunch of pre-made examples. For ECE210, the combinational and sequential logic tabs may be of interest later, but for now we'll just select a blank circuit at the bottom. Now that we have a blank canvas, we can start drawing our circuit. Over in the Draw tab, you can select which component you would like to begin drawing. For 210, we'll be mainly using wires, logic gates, input and outputs, and later we can use digital chips. For now, we'll just start with wires. In CircuitJS, you draw by clicking the first endpoint and dragging to the second endpoint of the component. Notice that these two white circles appear. These are the nodes of the component you drew. In order for elements in CircuitJS to interact with each other, they have to connect using the nodes. For example, This wire will now branch out into two different wires, but if I drew a wire through like so, this wire will not interact with the rest of them because this wire is not connected by a node to the other wires. Now that I've built my beautiful masterpiece, I can save it by going to the File tab and selecting Save As. CircuitJS saves your work as a simple text file, so when you want to work on it later, you can select Open File or just copy the text and put it in like so. Now that we have a basic understanding of how CircuitJS works, we can start learning about logic gates. In this video we'll be sticking with the three main gates you'll use in this course. In the Draw tab, under Logic Gates Input and Output, we can find them here. The Inverter, the AND gate, and the OR gate. Also notice that next to all these options are the shortcuts. You can press these keys while on the canvas to quickly select a different element instead of going into the draw tab. I'll be using this for the rest of the video. We'll start exploring with the simplest one, the inverter. The inverter takes an input, we'll call it A. Notice I right clicked on that text element to go into the edit menu. And simply inverts it. The output is commonly written as A naught, or sometimes you'll also see it as A bar, which is the same thing. So with the inverter, if A is low, the output is high, and if A is high, the output is low. Next we'll look at the AND gate. The AND gate requires two inputs, and outputs high only if both of the inputs are high. AND is written as multiplication of the input terms, so here the B and C inputs output B and C, also written without the multiplication as just B and C. So if either one of the inputs are high, or neither, the output is low, but if both of the inputs are high, then the output will be high. And last, we'll look at the OR gate. The OR gate also requires two inputs, but will output high if one or both of the inputs is high. OR is written with a plus sign, so we have the inputs D and E, and the OR is D or E. Now that we know all the basic gates and what they do, we can describe it visually with truth tables. Truth tables are a method of showing the outputs of functions for the all possible combinations of inputs. The inverter only has one input, so in total it only has two possible input combinations. So the truth table for the inverter is very simple. It simply takes the input and delivers the opposite output. The size of the truth table doubles with every input you add. So the number of rows in a truth table for x number of inputs is 2 to the power of x. 
And here we have the truth tables for the AND and the OR gates. You can see the truth table allows us to quickly see that the gates share the same output when both of the inputs are low and when both the inputs are high. But when only one of the inputs is high, the gates outputs are different. In a future presentation, we'll look at combining these logic gates to produce more intricate functions. But that is all for this presentation. So, things to take away. Play around with CircuitJS. You'll probably need it for some assignments or labs. Remember the logic syntax. Multiply to represent AND, add to represent OR, and use a dash or overbar to represent inversion. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.